Ross. F fantastic week it's been. So today's deal is for Red Oak Steaks and Wine in Lino Lakes. And owner Tom Katz is here with his recipe for bacon wrapped elk tenderloin. Hi, Tom. Yeah. How are you, Elizabeth? Nice John, to see good you. Good to see you. This not only is the bacon wrapped uh, uh, elk tenderloin, which is different, but yep. you got uh, morel mushrooms as well. Minnesota grown morel mushrooms. Cool. That is yeah. good stuff. Okay, so, and that, they're right here. The mushrooms are right here. How do we get this going? Well, I guess. Uh, We'll start by uh, throwing the mushrooms in the uh, pan. Okay. And uh, this is kind of interesting because this being Friday, you the fifth of five steakhouses, you go, okay, how can you do things a little different? You well, sure do do things yeah, a little you different. Know, we feature a different wild game every week. Okay. Uh -huh. We do everything from elk to rabbit to yeah. pheasants, really? quail. Wow. Uh, you name it, wild boar. Nice. But you love elk. Oh, I love elk. Elk is widely known as probably the healthiest and the finest meat on the planet. So for people who are used to just eating a steak or chicken or something like that, how does it compare? What are you going to notice about elk that's a little different? Well, it's lean. Mm -hmm. and it's really good for you. There's no fat. There's zero fat in elk. And, uh, you know, it's just full of protein. Does so it compare to bison a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. A little bit. Um, they're both very lean. Bison has a little bit of fat in it. Elk really has zero fat. Mm. Mm. Very different. All right, so what are we doing here? So You'll be able to smell up. these. Uh, I do smell them already. Yeah, Morel mushrooms are just the Minnesota delicacy. And I'm a turkey hunter, so I pick these every year, and uh, we feature these with our some of our wild game. So you actually know which mushrooms to pick, not just Absolutely. picking random. Absolutely. When it comes to morel mushrooms, mushrooms, it's pretty easy. That's easy? Yeah. Uh, they, you can know. see they look real spongy. I don't know if I would trust myself to be uh, picking the right uh -huh. mushrooms. All right. All right. So you throw the butter in there. What else you got to add in there to get the mushrooms? Well, nothing good. really. Actually, I, actually, I, I did bring some uh, minced garlic. Mm, okay. Well, I love that always helps everything. That's fine. It doesn't taste great with oh, garlic on it. Nothing. So butter and we'll garlic. just uh, let these simmer. And I, okay. I brought a, an elk, a bacon wrap. Yeah, we got elk. it over here. Here, I'm gonna hand it to you. A bacon wrap elk tenderloin. So I love how the elk has no fat. So you're gonna throw some bacon around it. Right. That's and how we know. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. Good point. Good point. The bacon actually helps it stand up. Uh, we're just gonna throw a little seasoning on that, Elizabeth. Sure. You wanna hold it? Yeah. What are you using? Just some of our uh, red oak steaks and wine seas elk. Steak seasoning. Steak Very seasoning, good. okay. I'm going to use a thong. And then tongue. we're doing it here, of course, on this burner, but, gonna, uh, but you guys use hickory, right? You know what? Yeah. We're, we're going to cook this on your grill right here, but at our restaurant, we cook all of our steaks and our chops on burning, over burning hickory. Wow. Which gives our steak. <laughs> the audience just went, oh, uh, yum. <laughs> that gives our steakhouse a really, really unique tasting steaks. Okay. I mean, when you cook anything over wood, uh, it's going to be better than just cooking it, say, for instance, over over fire. And we see a country theme too. Yes, country. We have uh, Oh, that's that must be that hickory. That's the hickory burning. Okay. Uh, right? There's a steak going on the burning grill right now. We have, uh, and as long as they're showing the wine, we have uh, approximately 90 different bottles of wine on our wine list. So it's about uh, one to pair with any. You got your own label too. Right. We do have our own label, Red Oak Steaks and Wine label. It's out of Napa Valley. And cool. That's great. Well, tell me about the country thing. The though. country theme. Yeah. Um, I'm the host of the uh, nation's largest three-day country music festival, the Wee Fest. Yeah, you may have heard of it, a little thing Detroit called Lakes. Wee Fest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's held right here in Detroit, well, Minnesota, Detroit Lakes, mm -hmm. Minnesota, and we started that in 1983. And in our restaurant, um, we have about 100 autographed photos of some of the various artists that have been to our show. Some of them have been to the, our restaurant as well. Nice. Cool. And you know, John, I'd like to add one of your autographs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you got to win a trivia game. No, I told you. Or he, lose one. he has dozens of them at his desk. He'll give you one. I mean, he just hands them out like candy. That, yeah. That's terrific. And, and we should mention, too, Wee Fest. Tickets still available yeah. for that, too. Tickets yeah. are still available. Okay, so when you go to the steakhouse, I want to know, what is the deal with the redneck fancy dress code <laughs> that you like so much? Well, we want our dress code to be casual. And we want people to feel like they can come to our restaurant. Some people dress up, some people dress down, and it doesn't matter. I was standing. Typically, I wear blue jeans, a nice shirt, a country belt, and uh, cowboy boots. Nice. It's just something that I feel very comfortable wearing. My manager <laughs> answered the phone one day, and someone was asking him something, and he was staring at me. And I couldn't figure out why he was looking at me. And he got back on the phone and he said, it's redneck fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, they're That's asking, a compliment. They're asking what the question. dress code was, was at the Very restaurant. Good. Okay, so we're going to try this. All right, how long do you have to cook that up? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I suppose, uh, depending on how you like it, we're gonna, we have two that are already prepared. Obviously, this one uh, 
is magically being transformed into the yeah. two small ones. <laughs> and when you cut it open, uh, Elizabeth, you'll see. I'm having a hard time. You know time what? You I'm have the wrong knife. I brought oh. this knife specifically uh, for you. Nice. Oh, my goodness. That knife doesn't mess around. That's good stuff. Oh my gosh. Here, and then, of that? course, you got, you, I mean, we see some duck over here as well, but oh, you just handed me the whole fork. <laughs> we brought yeah, I'm sorry. I was giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was you know making what? you a bite. Oh. <laughs> You got duck over here, but you've also got some more traditional things you see at the steakhouse as well. Huh? Well, we brought some other items. We have a roasted half duck, and that's served with a cranberry port wine reduction and Minnesota grown wild rice. Yummy. We have a double bone in uh, pork chop from Iowa that's served with a pecan maple dipping sauce. And then our pan fried walleye is just huge at the restaurant. Uh, the pan fried walleye is served with a white wine lemon blanc. And our sweet potato hash browns that you see on a couple of the plates that are. That is great. Just, just extremely famous at the restaurant. I gotta try their label cab that goes. This is a, cab this is our cabernet that would go very well with the, with uh, the elk. elk, and I oh. think our mushrooms are more than done. Here's the thing. And I'm gonna I, dump those over here. Nice. It's, it scared me a little. I'm not gonna lie to eat elk. I mean, I, I don't, I don't go out of yeah. my comfort zone very much. No, you don't. Um, Clear value is, mac and cheese. That's right. As aggressive Certainly, as elk is that. Yeah. You weren't lying. Very tasty. Elk is fabulous. Widely delicious. known as the best meat on the planet. We get most of our wild game from a company out of Hudson, Wisconsin called uh, Venison America. Nice. Mm -hmm. And they just do a fabulous, uh, they ship wild game items all over the United cool. States. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Well, Elizabeth, John, it's been my pleasure. Oh, a pleasure. thank you, thank you.